typically with samplers, if you want to um, transpose something up an octave, say you have to play it back at double the speed. And I'll demonstrate this with Mach 5 with this cello sample playing chromatic notes. And if I play in an octave up, and that's maybe an int interesting effect if you play both together. But it doesn't address the issue if you want these samples to play in time with each other. And this is a stereo sample, and I'm going to use the Mach 5.3's new Earcom Stretch. So I can change this from a sample to Earcom Stretch. And you'll notice uh, some various parameters. You probably don't have to mess with any of them. Uh, I'm going to play this so you can hear what it does right now. And you may notice the stereo field has changed a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button, which will maintain the, the stereo field as, as we heard it before. And the reason you have to do this is because different types of sample material have react differently to stretching. And so you want to optimize the conditions for the sample that you're using. So here's the sample with uh, the stereo button turned on. And let me play an octave together so you can hear that it's playing in time. So you can hear that the Earcom stretch uh, provides excellent fidelity for stretching samples independent of pitch.